Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Folklore. This time around we're going to freeze the game a couple of times before it actually loads the DLC side quests. And we're going to do Good. the Mystery Messenger. Now this side quest is a little bit weird and it takes me a while to complete. Uh, I actually had to split the DLC chapters for the day uh, into two parts uh, because there was no good cutoff point for, uh, for it. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this side quest is a pretty interesting uh, gimmick uh, that I haven't wrapped my head around uh, up until the very end. Which is why I don't really get a very good score on it, and also I had no idea I was getting scored, but I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> um, in any case, uh, the pub landlord uh, got a uh, uh, got a letter. Uh, it, did, it wasn't addressed to anyone, so he just assumed it was Ellen. Because uh, everything that's weird is associated with that woman. Pretty much. I mean, he's not wrong. messenger at least she's getting good at uh, pretending she has no idea what uh, what these things are about yeah Man, oh yeah as per is usual slow. Yeah, it only gets crowded at night, and by that point you don't really want to be there. Yeah. <clears throat> I gotta say, even though it's like the most useless one, I still do like the uh, water dress the best so far. Uh, yeah, we will see, uh, we'll see about the other ones too, because uh, I never actually got all of the cloaks before. <laughs> you have to puke everywhere. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, this is actually the gimmick of this whole thing. You can only have one, uh, one folk at a time. Uh, so you have to kind of strategize as you go. Also, uh, the way they... Um, yeah, at least this time around it, uh, it does actually heal you uh, when you approach it. That's why there is this, uh, this whole boom when you, uh, when you talk to it. But yeah, uh, we, just, uh, we just have puke. Thankfully, I do have, uh, do have him decently... Uh, equipped, and he's actually pretty damn good for the most part. And we can actually talk to the ugly aerials. They're really, they're even uglier up uh, up close. Oh my god, what's with their cheeks? Which ones? All of them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But yeah, what what he says is actually kind of um, kind of a hint. You're supposed to get as many folks as you can. Although, uh, yeah, since I am um, since this was the first time I I was doing this and I don't use any sort of guide, I had no idea I was supposed to do that. So I just stayed with the safe approach, which was to generally keep uh, keep puke around for the most part. Because most enemies can be damaged by him, and yeah, he's generally very fast and also has uh, decent range. Wow, Ellen's actually getting active. Yeah. She's learning from Keats. Yeah, she has no choice. But yeah, this this area like uh, is filled with so much trash. It's like and it's like uh, the uh, your instinct is to uh, you you see the red uh, you see the red and you pull uh, pull the thing out. But now it's um, 
Actually, I, w I just wouldn't do that until you find this, uh, in this in this first area because it will screw you over immediately. Because all of them are really awkward to use against uh, against groups of enemies. All right. And yeah, defeating defeating one sort of enemies opens one type of doors, and defeating the other sort of enemies opens the other doors. And now I'm confused where so I am supposed let's... to go. <laughs> Shit, where'd I come from? Well, I, I know where, where I came, came from. from. I know where I came from, but uh, I didn't know uh, where to go. Yeah, I know where you come from too, the netherworld. Well, no, I don't come from the nether world. I just live here. <laughs> eh, same difference. That fish is just my up. Oh, never mind. Up, oh, up. Oh, he's aggressive now. Up. Oh. Thankfully, they're pretty generous when it comes to health in the uh, in this uh, side quest. So it's hardly possible that you're going to die. Ah. Uh, but huh. it's. Uh, you it's don't run out of MP during this. No, you do. It's just that puke little doesn't. Of it at least. Uh, just that puke uh, doesn't use much. Uh huh. Like if I uh, if I use, uh, well, it doesn't seem like I run uh, run out of anything uh, very fast simply because I cannot combo. At least right. the water. At least the water elemental cloak comes in handy. Oh and no, here, why are and you here I. The fish? Yeah, I was actually hoping that uh, one of them uh, hits me be uh, before I actually absorb him. Because once you're in that animation, you cannot get out. Or so it seems. But yeah, in general. Uh, Kill everything in uh, in the given area before you actually uh, before you actually proceed. Uh, try to proceed to the next one uh, because uh, they will put uh, like uh, they will, uh, they'll put like blockades that you can only smash with certain elements. Uh, but you can always just get uh, the folk that you need in the previous area and just uh, run uh, run all the way through since all of the blockades are already. Uh, dispatched. Like for example, here I cannot get uh, get through it without the uh, water elemental folk. So I just need to go back. And here I'm cursing a little bit inside. And now we have but, to eat a fish. Yeah, thankfully there is one uh, right next to the uh, right next to the exit. So I can very easily get it without aggroing any other one. And what's Loading. pretty yep, interesting, what's pretty interesting is uh, what uh, this uh, this entire uh, section. Uh, kind of, sort of uh, resets your, uh, all of your folks in a way, just for this section. Because uh, huh. like uh, that sort of loading, you only see when you uh, when you get a new folk. Not when you uh, not when you uh, capture them, like level them up or whatever. They actually uh, they actually coded everything in such a way that it's like you're getting them completely anew. But you still do get all He's of the. All of the you. Yes, but you do still get all of the uh, all of the bonuses that you gain from them, uh, like from uh, from the karma releases. Good. Uh... No, that was unfortunate. Please. Oh well, time to just kill him. Yeah, I was hoping he would just uh, he would just fuck off for a little while and let me finish, but uh, uh, yeah, he has no tact. 
How rude. Rude? Seriously. Yeah. This thing never holds still, doesn't it? No, he's like a little puppy. <laughs> Except less adorable. And more dangerous. But yeah, I figured since they give them, uh, since they give them here, uh, they may come in handy for the next part, and I was right. Good. And it seems like every single crystal you find will contain health, which is pretty nice. Well, I mean, gotta make sure you stay alive through this challenge, right? Yeah, they don't make it overly difficult, um, but yeah, at the same time, I I just had no idea what uh, what I was supposed to do, so that's why I didn't get a very good score. And see, this is why you actually need the uh, freaking um, slash elemental. This is evil, Mr. Mr. Troll. Is and here. now I'm s and now I'm oh. screwed. I need to go back. All out of habit. I am disappointed, Nico. I am disappointed. Thankfully, this time around. Yeah, now I can fight them more efficiently. Thank you, invincibility friends. <laughs> this is why dodge rolls are wonderful. This is why absorbing folks is really, really useful. That too. Thankfully the other one just sort of sits there and didn't notice me. <laughs> it had a lot going on in its mind. Didn't have time for you. Nah, he was just sleeping ready. I think he was sleeping because otherwise he could get me with, like five times before I finish this. Right. So yeah, hopefully this time around I'm not gonna get... Um, yeah. And the health actually respawns, which is nice. They do expect you to go back and forth uh, between those areas a lot. But yeah, uh, the troll isn't the biggest trouble in this area. It's the ugly aerials, which uh, which are the most problematic ones. Because there is a lot of them. And as I've said before, they have way too much health for goons. Yeah. Because, like, pukes go down relatively easily. But aerials, no matter how powerful... Oh, that's, that's just rude. Seriously, man. No matter how powerful uh, of a thing you're using, they just they just don't die fast enough. Oh, I thought you were gonna absorb them. I was gonna be like, no, don't do it. <laughs> no, just th then I, it would just be like pro controller at the screen. <laughs> Go Death away, you annoying little thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, the troll is popped out, but I still can't do anything about it because that little fucker won't die. Yeah. And this one is done for, and so and so will this little ugly aerial be. Thankfully, I didn't get hit too hard in this uh, in this place. Yeah. And it went completely through it. And the and troll got, got shut away. down. Good. 
Good lord, die already. That's why... That, that, that's why this ugly area will never become human. Indeed. Finally it's dead. Now for the troll. You wonder how it's breathing underwater, but eh. And so how are we breathing underwater? Well, we're wearing a suit. We can breathe underwater. Loading. Oh, there and we go. So, yeah. Uh, something I noticed, though, um, when it comes to doing the whole uh, the whole mini game with um, with capturing the folk, uh, I noticed that the uh, the faster you do it, the more exp you get uh, from absorbing that particular folk. Hmm. Uh, it's uh, it's only recently that I noticed that the rates on it are uh, different depending on uh, depending on what happens. Because like generally, I just uh, I just got uh, one, and uh, on this troll I got uh, 1.5 because I managed to do it like in in one fell swoop at the end. Skip a D skip. 